The reason children's youth and family ministry matter to the church is that they are not only the church of tomorrow, but they are the church of today. Many people have heard of the 1040 window in missiological terms, where the most unreached people groups live between the 10th and 40th parallels. But what many people haven't heard beyond the geographical window is the demographic window. And that's between the ages of four and 14 is when people all around the world are most receptive to the gospel. If you ask thousands of people, when do they make a commitment to Christ? Somewhere between 75 and 85% of them will say between the ages of 4 and 14. So if we can capitalize on their receptivity, share faith with them, build discipleship into them at that stage of life, they can carry that throughout their lifetime and it will be transformational not only for them, but for the church as a whole and I believe for the world. George Barna, I heard recently in a, in a resource um, context say that he started his presentation by saying, I need to confess to you first that I have misaligned where I put my energies. And he said, for the rest of my life, I will spend all my energy pouring into children, youth, and family, because that is the most important ministry of the church. And I would say a hearty, hearty amen to what George Barna has said.